When I was growing up, I hated to be corrected by my parents, even when I knew that I was doing something very, very wrong. And if we're honest, as adults, we hate to be corrected by God, too, especially when we are willful, especially when we want it my way and no other way. We don't want to listen to a higher idea. God is a God of unconditional, unremitting love, a love that corrects but never ceases. Here's what it says in Proverbs 3, verse 11. Do not reject the Lord's discipline, and don't get angry when God corrects you. Well, sometimes we do. We just don't want to hear any other way but our human mind way. We don't want any other idea to come in. But when we stray from God's path, every time God will find a way, a loving way, a merciful way to correct us. When our behavior is inconsistent with God's will, God will discipline us in the same way that a loving parent might discipline a wayward child. God corrects us in a loving way because God cares and because God loves us. And if we're wise, we'll accept God's correction and we'll learn from that. The Bible teaches us that when God corrects us, we should accept God's discipline without bitterness, without despair. Instead of bemoaning our fate, we should look to God and God's instruction as a real occasion of opportunity to repair our mistakes, to reorder our priorities, and to realign our lives with God's perfect plan. God's correction is always done in a loving way, in a way that has purpose. God's trying to draw us back into the safety and the comfort of life itself. So today, let us accept God's kind, loving discipline, and we'll consider it an opportunity for real positive change and to learn and to grow.